I'm Diane Pickles, and I am the proud mom of Jake. Um, he's 22 years old. He has hypoplastic left heart syndrome, which means in layman's terms that he has no left side of his heart. And he's had three open heart surgeries. The first was at three days of age, the second was at six months, and this third surgery was at two years old. I'm Jake Pickles, I'm 22. Uh, I was born with a congenital heart defect known as a hypoplastic left heart syndrome. I've been dealing with that for my whole life. When I was going to kindergarten, first grade, second grade, you know, recess is the highlight of your day. Um, that was obviously a struggle for me. I was always missing school, I was always sick, uh, in and out of doctor's offices. Yep. And uh, other kids just didn't have to deal with sickness like I did, and they were always in school, nothing wrong, running around at recess, and sometimes I would miss recess to be inside doing a nebulizer. So uh, little things like that, you kind of figure out that you're a little different. One of the things that was really hard growing up for Jake was that his brother is a really big athlete and played multiple sports, and that was a big part of our lives growing up, and Jake desperately wanted to play sports. He played baseball until they went to the big field, and then he couldn't do it. He just couldn't, he couldn't really run the bases. He just didn't have the energy to do it. And that was really hard. I was almost as sad about it as he was. And yet, I think we needed to let him feel sad for a little bit, but not sit in that and not feel sorry for himself and not have it come from us, that that was a devastating thing. My name is Bill Pickles. I am the proud father of Jake Pickles. I think it separated us from other families. It almost defined who we were as a family. My older son was uh, perfectly healthy, and it never occurs to you that uh, when you go to have your second child, that there could be a medical problem or an issue or something that can affect your family. My name is Matt. I'm Jake's older brother. I remember visiting him in the hospital. One of my earliest memories is actually bringing him a teddy bear after one of his surgeries. My mom says this day she can't believe that I remember that because I must have been, I don't know, three years old maybe, but that's kind of one of my earliest memories. Um, but I like that I have that memory because um, it kind of puts things in perspective because you know, seeing him as a healthy 22-year-old man now, you, it's easy to forget. Um, but yeah, it kind of makes you take a step back and remember. I like having those memories, as tough as they are. The way we are now, where the four of us are very, are very close. And you know, you really don't realize it until someone brings up the question or until you're around other families who just, it's just not a similar situation, but um, I'd say it's brought us together. Yeah, for sure. There's no prognosis for Jake. The future is completely unknown. He's one of the oldest survivors for his disease. Um, had he been born 10 years earlier, he would have died for sure. Even five years or earlier, he probably would have. He might need a transplant someday. It's likely he'll need more procedures, but we just don't know. And I think that if you dwelled on the fear and the unknowns, you'd go crazy. Really, to, to live in that fear does nobody any good, most of all Jake, and, and that's the thing that, that I remind myself every day, most of all Jake. I want Jake to live with hope and life and the belief that he's gonna live a long, bright future and outlive his mom and dad. Uh, they don't really know much with people my age, uh, which is kind of scary, just the, un, the unknown a little bit, but uh, I'm just planning as if there's nothing wrong and I'm just gonna live this healthy, happy 22-year-old life.